Hey guys, it's Jonah here, back with my final edition of the life and death uh, from Vocation Brewery. Um, yeah, it's been an interesting day today, Sunday now. Um, I allowed myself uh, to watch some motorbikes today. Um, I have been avidly watching um, the coverage um, from uh, London and Scotland, Balmoral, obviously, of the uh, the Queen and uh, the new King, um, and yeah, it's really been yeah, it's been interesting. Um, and we've been over to Canterbury uh, Cathedral to pay our respects because that's uh, a lot nearer than going into London. Um, anyway, I thought I would start with this. This is the logo, uh, the new logo. I keep saying it's the new logo. Um, but it is the one that's on all vocation um, that you can buy now. And it'll be on the same as your supermarket beers. And if you did not catch this yesterday, um, and not, of all, not all of you watch all of my videos, but you should do, click like and subscribe. Um, but what I suggest you do, if you're interested in uh, vocation beers, is pause this video. There is a code which has met you at the bar um, and there is a QR code there. Um, it says this code is valued to the end of the year and it will give you 15% off on their lovely beers. And if you spend over 40 quid, it's free delivery. And I think when I did it and stupidly, I didn't use the code that I had literally picked up the day before. Um, but it does work, uh, that code, because someone, someone's already tried it and it does work. I think I got 13 beers, some of them were on sale and, and special editions and all that kind of stuff. So I got 13 beers for like 40 quid, um, free postage. And theoretically, if you do that, you get 15% off, 40 quid, six quid. So you could probably get at least one expensive beer um, extra. Or you could get two cheaper beers free using that 15% uh, code. So you're getting like 15 beers um, for 40 quid, which I know beers are quite expensive these days. However, them's the breaks. And um, yeah, why not get them while they're cheap? I believe there's a summer sale on still at the moment. And uh, yeah, you can get this beer, which is the special edition life and death and this one is the hazy edition says it at the bottom this is exactly the same it's six and a half percent abv but there is a difference to make it hazy otherwise it's basically the same as far as i can work out um let us see if we can get it to focus on here there we go uh life and death our signature recipe shrouded in a thick New England fog to soften its bristlier West Coast features. So basically, it is telling us that it is a crossover between a West Coast and an East Coast style. Juicy, tropical, and soft. It's around a softer life and death, brewed with flaked wheats, uh, jumbo oats, and a bit more citra for a juicy aroma, uh, fleshy, tropical, and stone fruits, and a silky finish made with citra and mosaic. So this one, unlike the other two beers that I've had, definitely has the oats in, um, whereas the other one um, just had the, the wheat. And I found out that it's wheat malt, whereas this beer, the hazy beer, has flaked wheat instead of wheat malt. So that is what makes it a bit hazier. And they say they're putting an added amount of citra in. And as I said previously, it's got an absolute shed load of, uh, of hops in there. The only, um, the only recipe or rough recipe I could find was uh, for the original, um, which said it had 30, 30 kilos of hops in there. It's just a shed load. And I think that's per barrel, which is absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculous. It's like 
absolutely crazy amount of hops. Right, let's hope, and I'm going to be very careful because yesterday the beer exploded on me, but we seem to be okay today. I have my vocation glass, and although you can't see, I'm using the uh, the vocation bar mat that I also had. Yeah, this is pouring much nicer. And I have to say, those other beers were reasonably hazy already. There we go. Vocation. Have to say, a lot less head than yesterday. I'd call that half a finger's head. It is still lovely, fluffy white bubbles. I'm almost spoilt these days um, for head, head-wise. <laughs> um, and as you can see, there is absolutely no way you can see anything through there. Ah, oh, this, this does have the aroma of just the normal version, but you can smell a little bit of alcohol in there too. And it does smell a bit dank, a bit like a hedgerow. Not getting much of the fruits, maybe a touch of kind of uh, citrus. But not as much as the other versions, which is interesting. So maybe the haze and um, the head, which is absolutely fast disappearing, makes it less... Um, uh, aromatic, shall we say. But I'm definitely getting some things through there. Right, I'm just going to oh, move a tiny bit back. Oh, my hat's on a bit unstraight. There we go. How's that? Cheers and beers, everybody. Um, I know a lot of you are thinking um, of where the country's going. Um, talking about England, the UK, the Commonwealth. And everyone in the world, cheers and beers from Uncle Jono. God save the king. Everything's going to be all right. Cheers. Oh, that is a lovely brew, I have to say. There we go. We've got the vocation logo. Oh, if if that tideline sticks around, we might be able to frame the location between two of the tidelines. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Um, I'm definitely getting that kind of piney kind of florally thing, but I'm also getting the tropical fruits. I know what what they mean by stone fruit. Um, although mosaic, not traditionally known for it, although, you know, there are lots of different fruits in, in mosaic. However, especially with this being a hazy beer and having that extra wheat, having that extra oats, the jumbo oats, they call them, um, that gives it that kind of smoothness, um, the, the oats especially. Um, but it also changes the flavour profile. Um, oh, wow gassy already. You knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. For those of you that this is the first video of mine that you've seen, um, yeah, beers, because I drink beers reasonably quickly, especially when I'm on camera, um, even though some people would say 10 minutes or 15 minutes isn't that quick, um, yeah, I always have a nice belch. And when you're drinking beer, that's what happens. So, Come on, man. <laughs> right, let's dive in for a second tasting. Oh, how have I done? Not too bad. The second one was down there. Maybe I should have tried to frame, uh, frame it a little bit better. Maybe if I tip it over like that, we can kind of force a tide line to happen there. Let's see 
It won't be straight though, it'll be a bit bent, but let's see if that works. Um, but yeah, we are getting that nice residual sweetness, which it is, it is a kind of thing with this beer. It's definitely going to happen. Um, let me go in for more because I'm tipping this beer as if I'm offering you it. Have some beer, damn you. Drink, drink it. No, let's see if this works. So let me see if I go right underneath the vocation and then tip back slowly. <laughs> oh, it's made him sad. He's got a sad face on there. But look at that. The top line, when I was holding this, this glass straight, has definitely remained there dead straight. And because I was messing around with different angles and all sorts of weirdness, that one would have been pretty, pretty flat as well. I should stop trying to be clever, shouldn't I, and just drink the beer. That's what you're expecting out of a beer review. Um, and this beer does have that nice peachiness. Um, it, it, it does have quite a hot bite initially, but as you drink and drink and drink, because it's a mixture of the two styles, the East Coast and West Coast styles, um, made by a Yorkshire brewery up north, um, well, from where I am, um, yeah, it's not quite, it's not quite got that West Coast bitterness. Um, I suspect the, and I, I haven't had it for a while, but the normal version of life and death is a little bit more hop forward, a little bit more bitter. And the gold version definitely has a big hop forward presence. This one, it's all a bit muted. Like they say, it's being in a fog. Um, and I totally get that, not just because it's hazy, um, like a pea super, as they used to call them in London. Um, in the Victorian age, age and Edwardian age and all that kind of stuff before we moved to gas when everyone was using coal and supposedly coke. Lots of people were using coke, but that's because it was smokeless. <laughs> you know what I mean? Whoa. Nice lacing on the glass. Tried to frame the vocation and probably failed miserably. Let me put that on on my vocation bar mat. Um, I feel a bit sad because I was originally going to save these beers up for a while. Um, and then I thought, no, I'm going to do it as a little... Yeah, I've been doing a lot of the beer 52 beers um, of late and I thought, no, I'm going to do some vocation. And I knew I had these three beers um, and perhaps I could have got a normal version of Life and Death, but I didn't bother because everyone's had that. You can get that in the supermarket. And I think I've done a review on that beer, that very beer, at least twice before. So, yeah, a bit of overkill. Um but yeah, I thought, no, I'm definitely going to do this. And then once I made that decision, literally the same evening that I made that choice and recorded a video, which you're going to see tomorrow. Uh, yeah. Just absolutely, yeah, absolutely craziness. Um, so I have got a couple of other beers in the pipeline. Um and uh yeah i'm gonna do let's have a think that one then which is tomorrow then i've got another beer and then i'm saving a beer to do as a home brew wednesday a kind of home brew wednesday special review a home brew review or a home brew wednesday review not sure what i'm going to call it yet but um, it is essentially my centennial pale ale that I made, yeah, a while ago. But I realised I've been drinking it. I've only got two uh, big bottles, two 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 litre bottles. So I've got four litres of this beer left. Um, 
and I think I only made like 13 litres and yeah I think one of the bottles didn't go so well I'm not sure I think it let some air in and just it went a bit weird um, so yeah I only really had about 10 11 litres um, and I'm down to the last four so I thought I'd better do a review on it and I know some of you um, especially some of the old school sort of die hard people um, like seeing homebrew stuff because yeah apart from doing some weird videos and sort of personal things which you can still see they're my oldest videos on this channel because um, I haven't separated it maybe I should do one day but I haven't done um, yeah used to do a lot of homebrew videos um, and I haven't done some for ages and ages so they're definitely coming. But yeah, I'm going to try and release that one on Wednesday. And then we're going back to, um, yeah, the uh, the American uh, Pennsylvania. Um, I've still got a couple of those beers left to do. And I've, I think I've got a couple of the Save the Planet um, ones. Uh, and then off to Ireland. And then it's the ninth birthday ones. And then... And then we've got, um, yeah, what have we got then? We've got the newest one, which I only opened the other day, which is the beer 52 ninth birthday beers. Um, yeah, which I've already kind of earmarked one. Uh, in fact, I've done one review, uh, I think, already. Um, oh, no, I haven't because I drank a beer, but I haven't done a review on it because I've done the review before because they stiffed me with giving me a beer that they'd already sent me. So, yeah, not still not very happy about that, but I've already drunk that beer. Um, so lots of beer to be to be had. I think I've probably got, in total, apart from the home brews, maybe 80, 90 beers to go. So that's probably going to take me to the end of the year to drink, and I'll probably be getting some more beers. Um, we'll see how we go. Anyway. I'm talking nonsense now. I hope you enjoyed my tribute. Um, and once more, I have relied on vocation. Uh, this time, it's the life and death. Um, and I really hope um, everyone understands why I've done that, um, especially because of what happened on Thursday. And um, yeah, everyone's still coming to terms with things. And for me, it, it drummed up, or it, it reminded me of things that happened to the tail end of last year. So my emotions have been a bit over the place the last couple of days. So, yeah, hopefully, if you didn't appreciate what I was doing, at least you can understand why. Anyway, this has been Uncle Jonna drinking beer so you don't have to. Click like, click subscribe, leave a comment down below. I always like reading the comments uh, and I don't get that many these days so please if you're umming and ahhing about leaving a comment just type it in um, and we'll see where we get to anyway as usual shum on to you all um, like I said the world will is well it's still here and it will get better um, and uh, yeah we'll still remember the people that we love cheers and beers guys We'll see you real soon.